Hello, everybody. We'll get started in just a minute. I'm going to give some people that are still not on the webinar a couple more minutes um, to be able to get everything ready. All right, so I'll begin. Uh, good morning or good afternoon and welcome to the first webinar of the 2019 Art Van Charity Challenge. My name is Lisa Galperin. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at Mighty Cause, the new platform provider for the Art Van Charity Challenge, and I run all customer success here. Um, so if you have any questions, um, you'll notice on the right hand side of your GoToWebinar control panel, there's a chat box. Um, and at the end of the webinar, we'll be going through all questions that you have. So for today, we're just going to go over just some basic information about the charity challenge, how to manage your page on the platform, some key campaign strategies, and as I mentioned, go through any questions that any of you have um, in regards to the event. So for those of you who are not familiar with Mighty Cause or who haven't used our platform before, welcome. Um, we're the new technology platform partner for Art Ranch Charity Challenge, as I mentioned. Um, we're going to be the go-to uh, people for any technical support that you'll have for your page. So anything you need, we have a great support team that you can always come to for questions um, and answers. Just to give you some background information about our platform, Mighty Cause started in 2006. We've been the pioneer um, in this industry, focused on serving nonprofits. We've helped run, we've helped raise over $650 million for over 30,000 nonprofits. We are a full service um, nonprofit software provider, and you can read some of our reviews on Captera if you would like. So that's just some basic background information on our platform for those of you who are not familiar. So to get started for this year's charity challenge, um, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you've applied to participate in this year's challenge. Um, there is a short form on the website that you should fill out. Um, and by submitting the application, you'll also receive access to your nonprofit page on the platform. You will receive two approval emails. One is approval to access your nonprofit page, and the other will be an approval um, that the RVM team has reviewed your application and approved you for the event. Once you receive access to your nonprofit page, you can add additional administrators on there. So you can have multiple people editing and managing your page. So some of the things that we're going to go through for the charity challenge are five key items that will help you make a more successful event this year. So the things that we're going to be going over is one, adding a background image to your page, two, how to upload your logo, three, how to add a story or description to your page, four, how to build a thank you page that donors will see once they complete a transaction, and five, how to set up direct deposit information. Um, so that's where don donations will go um, in regards to the event. 
So if you already have access to your nonprofit page, you'll notice on the left hand side, there is a dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage and edit your page. And your dashboard is composed of some key sections and we'll be going them over in more detail. But just to go over um, some of the key functions that they hold. So the home section, which is the top one, is going to be able, you're gonna be able to view your to-do list and as you complete different areas of your to-do list, it's going to check off so you know what else you need to complete. As well, it'll show you your registration status and some other additional information. Profile will give you the page editing tools that you need to customize your organization page. Donations will allow you to review donor information, export that, and also customize your donor experience, your checkout flow. Campaigns will allow you to review any fundraising efforts that you've created for your organization. And the last one is settings, which is going to be able to manage some of your organization's presence on the Art Van Charity Challenge website as well. That's where you'll be able to set up direct deposit. So the home area, as I just mentioned, this is where your to-do list will be located. So you can always go back there, review what you need to complete, and it will give you up-to-date information as to how many donations you've received, how many fundraisers have been created, how many visitors to your page, so that you can always check back in and see how your page is doing. Managing your page. So customizing your profile, again, is located in the profile section of your left-hand side dashboard. Uh, you'll be able to customize the branding of the page, the look and feel, and this is where you'll also be able to add that story and description. This page will also be the page where you will send donors. This is what you'll um, send in your emails or on social media. This is where donors can go to make a donation to your organization. The first thing that you'll want to do um, is customize the branding, like I mentioned. So at the top in the middle section, there is an area for you to upload your logo. One of the key things to know about this area is that it is a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. In most cases, the logo that you have on your Facebook page will work in this area, but please make sure that if your logo is rectangular, um, it may not fit in that page and you'll have to crop it. Behind the logo image is a background image, as you notice these individuals right here. Um, this is a great opportunity to just, again, share the mission of your organization, um, and it provides a more pop-out experience when donors come onto your page. As well, you'll be able to edit the colors on the uh, Donate button as and the About section. So that green color is where you can choose the theme color. So this will allow you to match the color that you have in your website, again, creating a more branded experience for your page. In addition, um, on your profile page, there will be an inline text editor. Your inline text editor will allow you to add the story of your campaign and your organization. So at the top of your inline text editor, there's going to be the options to add bullet points, add numbering, numbering, um, add photos, videos, um, emojis, whatever you want or that you need in order to tell your story. We also have some shortcuts that are available on a support forum on our website uh, where you can quickly on your keyboard as well, bold, underline, or italicize words on your page. In addition to this story area, if you would like to share even more additional area, there is the ability to create a custom tab. So if you want to create your own photo gallery or you wanna provide information on different events that you guys have going around during the year or volunteer opportunities, this custom tab is a great way in order to share that information. 
Towards the bottom of your page, this is where we provide you the ability to add um, social media information as well as a media gallery. These op this is completely an optional area. You don't have to fill it out, but again, this is a great way to connect your organization um, with all of the social media that you have and share with donors the um, your mission and impact in a visual way below your story. As you see, you can add images from Facebook, Instagram, or you can simply upload from your computer. And you can pick and choose which one you would prefer to do. Within settings, so the last icon on your left-hand side dashboard, there will be an area called social sharing settings. Um, so this is an area we definitely recommend that you review and edit this will allow you to edit what your page looks like when you share it on social media. So when you add that URL link to Facebook, what auto populates when people click post? So if you go to social sharing settings, as you see, you'll be able to edit a different image if you would like that. You can edit and have your own description for that link or edit the title. So again, I would recommend just to review this and make sure that it is showing the information that you would like to show when donors do decide to share this page. If you are adding a donation button onto your website for the campaign, you can do so with the donation widget. Um, you can find this as well in um, your page settings or you can actually find this right on your profile. There will be um, a greater than and equal to sign on your left-hand side, right below your social share icons. Uh, and if you select that, that will open this embed this fundraiser pop-up. And adding a donation button onto your page is really easy. This allows you to secure donations for the charity challenge from individuals that come onto your website instead of your page on the Art Main Charity Challenge website. It, the donation button that you can embed is going to be a more simplified donor experience, but it allows donors the opportunity to select the donation levels that you've inputted and to quickly make a donation through your website. This is an embed code that we provide. So you or your webmaster can simply copy the embed code and paste it into the back end of your website. This is really easy to do if you have WordPress, Wix, um, et cetera. If you have any questions about how to embed your widget onto your website, please feel free to reach out to our support team or we're more than happy to help guide you through as to how to do that. Once you start receiving donations for your charity challenge, uh, you'll receive an email notification letting you know that you've received a donation. All administrators for your organization will receive this notification. If you have multiple administrators and some of those administrators don't want to receive an email notification, that's no problem. Within your user account settings, you can simply turn off those notifications. More importantly, you can always access this information on your left-hand side dashboard through the area called Donations and then Donations Report. Your Donations Report will auto-populate the donations from the last 30 days. If you want to look up a specific day or a specific week, you can change this report period to be a custom date range and choose what you want that to be. It'll show you the basic information of those donors. So we'll show you the donor's name, their email address, their donation amount, and if you have fundraising pages, the page that they've donated from. If you are looking for more extensive information on those donations, let's say that you have decided to collect address information or phone numbers, all of that information will be available on the, um, the downloadable Excel sheet. As well, if you need to import this information elsewhere, you can export it into that Excel sheet and import it into you know, your CRM system, donor management system, et cetera. If you are accepting donations offline from the platform, so let's say you receive a cash donation or a check, 
You can still report that for your page by adding an off available on the donations report. So simply select add offline donation and a pop-up will open up asking you to enter certain information like their name, their contact information, the amount, not all of that is required, but it's available there so that you have re your reporting all in one place. And once you add that offline donation, your total rate, your total raised will be up to date so that donors can see the accurate information on how much you've raised. Great. So as you as I mentioned, start receiving donations, we will send out disbursements to your organization. As well under donations on your left-hand side, there is a submenu underneath donations report called disbursements. Disbursements will give you your disbursement history and will also give you access to disbursement breakdowns. Um, in addition, all administrators will receive an email notification letting them know that a disbursement has been sent out to their organization and a link um, that is available here will be provided in your email. As I mentioned um, in the beginning, one of the things on your to-do list will be to set up EFT, which is available on your settings. And with EFT, organizations receive donations twice a month. Um, so donations will be sent out around the 10th or the 25th of the month, and donations will be sent on either date depending on the date of that donation and when it was made. If your organization um, chooses not to receive funds via direct deposit, you can automatically receive funds via check. However, there is a $5 service fee in sending a physical check and donations then are only sent once a month. So that's why we highly recommend to set up direct deposit on the page. In order to set up direct deposit, you'll need to enter your account and routing number in addition to providing a voided check or bank letter that just confirms the numbers that you've provided. And in addition, as I also mentioned in the beginning, one of the things on your to-do list will be to customize your thank you page. Um, and this is will be also the area where you can edit your checkout flow. So the donor experience allows you to choose what data you want to collect from donors. One step of this area is the ability to edit those donation levels and add do donor um, descriptions. So for example, we have some pre-populated ones, $25, $50, $75, 100 However, if you want to edit that so that says $10, and maybe you want to add a description where um, you $10 purchases um, a backpack for a student, for example. You can add that information and that will be shown to donors once they select a donate and go through the checkout um, flow. Donors will have the opportunity to leave a dedication in memory or on behalf of someone. However, if you want to also give donors the option to designate their donation, if you have multiple funds that you want to um, provide the donors the ability to choose from, you can enter that information within your donor experience and they will be shown during the checkout flow. Most importantly, you can always pre preview the donation experience before the charities challenge begins so that you're seeing exactly what donors see when they go to make their donation. On the top of your donor experience, there are two tabs. One is checkout flow that we just talked about. The second is post checkout. The thank you page is available to be edited there. Uh, the thank you page is the first thing donor sees when they finish their transaction. And this area allows you to add your own photos, videos, similar to the inline text editor on your story and description area. You can really take hold of this area and again, um, make sure that the experience is matching the experience on your website and has that branded um, opportunity for you. If you would like to add um, a custom CTA, you can also do that. So if you wanna send donors to a blog that you have, or maybe there's a special place on your website where people can subscribe to a newsletter, it's a great opportunity to say, subscribe to our newsletter and provide that link right here. 
In addition, below your thank you page, um, there is an area to add a custom thank you message on your donation receipt. Once donors finish um, their donation and they've received their thank you page, a donation receipt will be automatically sent to their email address. We'll provide all that receipt information, but if you want to add a thank you message um, on top of that receipt, the first thing donors see when they open up that email, you can customize that here. And again, both things you can preview so you can review what donors will exactly be seeing once you start accepting donations. In addition to your donations report, disbursements, and donor experience under the donation section of your left-hand side dashboard, one of the last sections is matching grants. Um, if your organization has been able to um, acquire a match your grant for the challenge, you can display that information on your page so that donors see that you have an active grant. It's a great opportunity for donors to know and be cognizant that their donation is making a bigger impact for your organization. When you enter your matching grant, we recommend adding an image and filling out a title for your matching grant. This will be displayed right on the page so donors can always see how much the matching grant is and what is left of it. As well on the donation button, they'll be able to see that there is a live matching grant. We have flexible matching options, so you can have it be numerical, or if you want to state that the first 20 donors, there is a match, you can have that the opportunity to edit and provide that sort of match. You can also have multiple matches happening at one time, so it's also a great opportunity to reach out to your network and to the local businesses and try to acquire more than one matching grant if possible. You can set matching grants to start after one has been fulfilled. So there's lots of opportunities to um, edit and make sure that um, you have a matching grant at any point during your three week challenge. And most importantly, you can count matching funds in your total raise. So if you choose to have a thermometer at the top of your page, your matching grants will be um, within that total. Some organizations like to create a fundraising page for um, their challenges. And if you do decide to create a separate fundraising page um, for your uh, challenge, you can review all those campaigns here. As well as if you have individuals that are creating peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, you can review all of them under the campaign section of your left-hand side dashboard. This area, just like, Every other area on the platform, you can export um, your campaigns report so you can see everyone who's created a peer-to-peer -peer campaign um, and information on those. And as well, you can easily start a new fundraiser from this area. If you have individuals that are creating peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers for you, you can also choose to hide them from on the platform or not through this campaigns area. And the last section on your left-hand side dashboard is settings. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is where you can add or remove administrators. You can update your legal name or address. You can set up EFT disbursement. And as well, you can customize the social sharing buttons and the end of the URL. So if you wanna update the end of your URL, you can do so in this area. Great. So that's some, some of the administrative and technical um, things on the platform. Let's go into a little bit of campaign strategy. So one of the things that you'll wanna keep an eye out um, as the challenge um, comes closer is some emails from Mighty Cause in regards to tips for your campaign. We provide lots of great resources for you to review and give you some great ideas of how you can um, incentivize donors to donate, how you can make your campaign stand out. The toolkit on the Art Van Charity Challenge website is also a great place to review those resources. We have great guides and great che checklists that you can review. And again, any questions that you have about any of that material, you can send it over to our support team and we can help guide you through any questions you have. One of the things that you'll also wanna start considering is how to strategize around the prizes. Um, there is a 
If you haven't done so already, please review the price section on the website. Um, and it's a really great idea to start thinking about beforehand and what is your game plan when um, you can start receiving donations. And lastly, there'll be more webinars to come. The next webinar for our Van Charity Challenge will be on August 21st. Um, so you can start and sign up for it today. So some key dates to have in mind, August 17th, application closes. So please make sure if you haven't done so already to apply for our Fan Charity Challenge. August 21st is the next webinar. September 9th is when you can start receiving donations and donations will count. September 27th is the last day of the campaign and October 10th, disbursements will be sent out. I'm going to leave the last couple of minutes for any questions. Um, so again, on the GoToWebinar control panel, there is an area for you to enter any questions you have. So I'll go through some of them right now. So one person asks, should this main page tell the story of our Art Van campaign, or is this our new Mighty Cause page that will be used for future campaigns? So essentially, for, the, for your Art Van Charity Challenge, you want to use it to tell the story in regards to your campaign with Art Van Charity Challenge. Uh, if you choose to then use the platform, um, if you choose to use Mighty Cause after the campaign, you can go back and edit it and make it so that you can utilize it for your own fundraising. But during the Charity Challenge, you want to um, designate it um, and guide it towards that campaign. In addition, you can always create a separate fundraising page. If you want your primary organization page to be similar to the content that you have on your website, but you have a separate fundraising page that is specific to our Fan Charity Challenge and talks about what you guys are trying to raise funds for for this campaign, that's a great idea and a great opportunity to do so. So you have an area where people can um, review both information. Will we have access to this PowerPoint after the webinar is over? Yes, that's a great question. Um, we'll be emailing out this PowerPoint after the webinar as well. It will always be available on the website um, underneath the toolkit. So you should see it um, in the toolkit um, either today or sometime this week. When can we expect access as admins to edit our old page. Um, if you haven't received administrative access quite yet, um, please reach out to support at mightycause.com. You should have received access. Um, if you haven't done so, please reach out to us. We're more than happy to get you going as soon as possible. Um, there is, we do go through an a, approval um, review to make sure that all administrators um, or everyone who's requesting administrative control is an administrator to their page. Can supporters make peer-to-peer -peer campaigns for Art Van Charity Challenge 2019 campaign versus the main page? Yes. So um, supporters can create their own fundraising pages and it'll still be connected to your totals. So definitely, if you have supporters that are interested or you want to reach out to individuals um, and have them create their own peer-to-peer -peer campaigns, you can. And then that's a great um, way to have people participate in the um, campaign. Great. So any additional questions um, we, I can follow up with or you can follow up with us, support at mightycause.com. And uh, thank you so much. And yes, as I mentioned, this will be available on the website shortly. Thanks. Bye.